Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to make a little bit of a dark story for you guys. Um, now this happened, um, I would say I was 24, so about four years ago. And um, it started off, I was, uh, I just, I met some random guys. They asked me if I want to come drink and smoke, smoke up with them. And I agreed, you know, me back then, I was all, all about the partying and everything like that. And, uh, so yeah, we, we continued to have like several drinks, um, smoke some blunts and, uh, yeah, I just time as the time went by, I, I started to not feel so well. And then, you know, I just, I remember vomiting. I remember like just feeling nauseous. I, I almost got paralyzed at some, at some points. Um, I, I couldn't walk. So when I started to feel paralyzed, I, I start I lay, I laid down. And I remember just laying down like a starfish like this on the floor and like nobody was doing anything. Um, I assumed at that point I had been drugged and I don't know if something was put in my drink or if something was put in my, uh, in my, uh, in the, in the blunt. I, I don't know. I, I guess obviously they just put it in mine, whatever it was. Right. But, um, yeah, so I laid down on the table and, uh, I felt my spirit, or sorry, I laid down on the floor and I felt my spirit leave my body. And it felt like the most pain I'd ever felt in my life. It felt like a vacuum was literally sucking every or like every organ right out of my body. Like the soul leaving the body, it's just, it's very painful. And um, so yeah, after that happened, I remember I went to a dark place. After, after my soul left the body, I, I went to a dark place. It was almost like a basement, like a dark dungeon cellar basement. And I remember being there and, uh, uh, the, I, the, there, there was Satan. I was the only one there. Like I, I, I was in hell. I was in hell and Satan was there and it was only the two of us. And, uh, neither Satan or I had a physical body. We just, like, I basically just knew I existed, but if I were to look down at myself, there was no body. It was, it was like almost just consciousness or, or just my soul. I don't know. It was hard. It's hard to explain, but I could hear Satan and, uh, but I couldn't see him and he just, he welcomed me there, um, very char charismatically wanting me to stay, you know? Um, I also saw... I, I, I must have only been there for like a minute or two, but sorry, I have a cold. Um, I saw roulette tables and where you can gamble away, like where you can saw off a leg and gamble away your body parts. So I don't know what that's about. I wasn't there long enough. All I know is I had like immense fear and uh, like a strong desire to get out of there as soon as possible. And I prayed to God and I, God, and God, Jesus, someone please save me. I, I was, I was so scared. And all of a sudden, like, an angel or God or Jesus, something, a really strong force, like, as strong as lightning, sucked me right back up into my body. Back into the body that was laying on the floor in those people's house. And, uh, so, yeah, uh, that's a pretty, uh, pretty crazy story. And, uh, from what I gather, like, the reason why I went there, I think, to hell... Nobody sent me there. I wasn't forced to go there. I think subconsciously I believed I was deserving to go there. And, uh, I, yeah, like in the back of my mind, I thought maybe that's where I deserve to go. And like my life has changed a lot since then. I have, you know, more belief in God and, uh, yeah, I never want to go back to hell again. But yeah, that's my story of how I went to hell, how I overcame.